Do you ever wonder if homeschool is a good choice for you? Comment below with your questions, concerns, or ask about a setting up a time to discuss how to start your homeschool journey. Here <laughs> with our county. Absolutely. Um, so what would you tell other families who are, you know, kind of where you were a year ago, um, considering homeschooling? I mean, I would say acknowledge what you think might be overwhelming, um, and do your research. It's totally okay. And I would say if you're not overwhelmed initially, maybe, maybe you're not doing something wrong, you're going to be overwhelmed and it's okay. That doesn't make the journey impossible. Um, do your research and find the resources that you're comfortable using. There's no right or wrong answer in this. You might even start with one curriculum and decide that it's not for your family or for your child and change it. You might get a curriculum and not use any of it. Um, and those things are all okay. There's no right or wrong answer. And the most important thing is to remain flexible and to really keep in mind that you're there to meet the needs of your child. You're not there to be an institution. You're not there to um, overwhelm them. You're really there to change the dynamic of their learning. And mm -hmm. it's the biggest gift that you can give your child. And at the end of the day, even though it's a lot of work, you're also giving yourself and your family a huge gift as well. Because that time is something obviously that you can't get back. And um, if I had known how well this could go, I think I would have started sooner. Yeah, I, I think that's great. Like you were saying, just knowing every day, you know, what's going on with them, what are they learning, yeah. where are they, you know, just those little things. Um, I think, um, it's because some people think, well, if I'm working at home, then I won't be able to do this, you know, with my kids, but I find it's more comforting knowing and I know where they are. I know what they're learning. I know who they're with, who's mm -hmm. influencing them. <laughs> so to me, it kind of gives more of a boost in my, you know, my own profession or, and my husband, mm -hmm. you know, just that kind of peace of mind um, and not having to worry about are there factors or are there things going on that I, that I don't know about, or I'm going to find out about months, you know, from now. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, yeah. So I think some of that, you know, balances even, you know, some of that does, you know, it certainly takes time. You know, I'm sure when you're on breaks from work and things like that, you're having to, you know, talk to your kid. OK, do this, do that. And I'm sure there's, you know, there's always the back and forth, you know, with siblings yeah. <laughs> to to yeah. mitigate. Um, but that's to me some of the socialization is even, yeah. you know, there's, you know, even within the family. And that's to me, that's where the socialization starts is. Absolutely you know, with your, own, with your family. Um, but like I said, just the peace of mind that comes with, you know, knowing, you know, where they are and what they're learning um, mm -hmm. to me outweighs, you know, some of the time that, that you're investing that you might not. Yeah. Otherwise. Definitely. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's really a gift to be able to check in with your child during the day and during their learning process and to say, where are you? What are you working on? Do you have any questions? Um, and for them to, to engage with you, because the reality is they don't get that same level of um, care in an institute yeah. setting because the teacher can't take the time to do that with 25 or 30 kids. And so, um, again, I think that for my one son um, who is very shy, he would never speak up in a setting where there's 25 or 30 kids and say, I don't understand this. Um, and he mm. would go, you know, the weeks <laughs> and then you'd find out weeks later, he doesn't understand it. Whereas in the home setting, if I check with him every day as he's doing his work and he'll say, I don't understand this, it's, it's very easily course corrected. Um, but when a child is going weeks without understanding, again, it, it, it erodes their self-confidence, mm -hmm. uh, then they're not learning and then they're not motivated and you know, all the, all of these things. And so it really is wonderful to be interactive with them um, along the way. Yeah. And that they're successful, you know, that, and they're seeing that, that, you know, now I can understand this now and they can even reach farther, um, you know, in, in the time, you know, and so just making good use of, of the time that they have. Yes. So, and learning life skills too, during the day. Yes. You know, I mean, um, my boys can get up in the morning now and put their laundry in 
and it's a life skill for them. And yeah. that, you know, and then they go back to doing their work, but there's lots more to homeschooling than just the traditional academic aspects of it, which are obviously really important, but they're learning about how a household works and what responsibilities look like in a household. And so it really is um, a much more dynamic and uh, just rich environment for them to be in, I feel. Yeah. Have you done any uh, field trips? We didn't do any field trips. Um, you know, just it just gets really challenging with between work and their sports. Oh, that's, that's right. Okay. Time. However, uh, now that we're in summer, I, I'm going to try to organize a few things just because the we don't have to be as rigorous. <laughs> and so I feel like, you know, summer's a good time for them to have a few of those opportunities to do some of the field trips and go to, to different places and, and see things. Yeah, I know. I used to, before the pandemic, I was really on top of field trips and uh, I haven't um, done as much of that. But to me, that's fun. You know, when we go and do, you know, the museum, and you know, because that's another criticism of, well, they're going to get, you know, all these field trips and things built in. Um, with school, but, you know, I enjoy going with them, you know, on the field trips yeah. and experiencing that, you know, all those things, you know, and trips and things with them. So yeah, that's just another benefit. And then you can also, like you said, the groups and things, sometimes there's, you know, field trips, different educational opportunities, you know, that they can do with the group. Um, so definitely lots, lots out there, but thank you so much, Megan, for your time. Mm -hmm. um, and just mm -hmm. hearing about your experiences, I think it's, it's encouraging to other um, parents and you're, you know, very, you, you did a lot of re you did even probably more research than I did. <laughs> so <laughs> congratulations on that. Yeah. I think your research definitely um, paid off. I hope. Absolutely. And you were part of that research and oh. <laughs> I really appreciate that because you were very generous with your time and your wisdom and I think that's a really important component of this. We're a community and it's important to support one another and lift one another up uh, on the journey. And so uh, I appreciate that from you and I would certainly do the same in return for others. Oh, well, you're very welcome. And yeah, obviously this is something I'm very passionate about. So I just appreciate, you know, hearing your perspective and your experiences. And I, I wish you and your boys all the best. I love to, you know, check in, <laughs> see how yeah. things are going. Um, you know, and, and it, like I said, the, just the adjustments and all um, that you're that you're making. Absolutely. So, all right. Well, thank you so much, Megan. Thank you. Have a great afternoon. You too. Thank you. Do you ever wonder if homeschool is a good choice for you? Comment below with your questions, concerns, or ask about a setting up a time to discuss how to start your homeschool journey.